and welcome back to the Dying Light Any% speedrunning guide. In this part we will cover the quest named Siblings. It's not that one quest as a previous one, but it's still uh, pretty much saturated with action and different tricks. So we end, uh, left uh, after interacting with the Hedge in a school, so now in this black screen moment we want to hold shift w and a after pressing spacebar to continue we want to hold backwards to make a couple of steps steps back and then start running forward again because uh, we get stuck in corner and we want to get out of it during the black screen okay, Jeanne. something like this Grapple your way to move faster. Then uh, kick open this door window and jump in inside it because this door opens automatically. You cannot speed up it anyhow, and you cannot go through it instantly. So the fastest way to get in is to break the window and jump inside. Then you have to wait for this dialogue anyway. So. You can relax a little bit, stand near the store, you cannot interact with it for now. Now you can grapple your way inside, kill this guy, kill this guy, and kill this guy. Stand near this button until you hear this line. If you hear this line, it means everything worked fine. Sometimes uh, the dialog may glitch out and it won't start. I don't know why this happens, it happens extremely rarely to me, uh, it can happen, it's happened sometimes to other guys, uh, I don't know, with setup like this, I always reliably hit the dialogue. Well, if you get unlucky there is nothing you can do, you can just run around uh, to somehow try to trigger it. So what you have to do here, uh, you have to turn off alarm, obviously, uh, and after that another bandit will kick open this door. Uh, there is a potential strat which was uh, never been successfully used. You can try hanging on a shelf by using your grappling hook at precise angle. I don't know, it, it's extremely difficult to find the right pixel. So gener generally speaking if you hand on this wedge uh, and clip through the wall you can skip your time waiting for bandit to kick the door. But you can see why this strat never been implemented. <laughs> it's just way too unreliable to get this uh, trick working. Oh, finally, I got this. So, by jumping somewhere in the corner, you can get it. So, let's say by aiming at this, between this white spot and this white line, I can grab the switch. Okay, let's, let's try to do it. So, you can do something like that. Which was obviously not extremely fast, but uh, potentially it may save some time. Grapple your way inside, switch to shotgun if you have it. Kill those two guys and those two guys. Now open the crate and already start doing right dodge. It starts another unskippable dialogue, move the shelf. And uh, when you turn into the right, uh, kick those planks along the way. So you want to do it something like this. Open anything, pick up a basement keys, and then follow the quest line. S equip your firecrackers, you want to toss one over here to bait away the viral and the bomber that comes from this door. 
so they won't bother open you while opening this door. Jump over this zombie and kill this bomber. I will kill this guy just for the sake of demonstration. Sometimes this bomber can glitch out and he'll stay AFK here. There's nothing you can do about it. Just uh, walk inside and kill him. So after killing this bomb bomber, uh, you will be able to interact with this door. So equip shotgun if you have it. Skip cutscene and move forward. Turn left, kill, th kill those three guys because you have to kill them in order to proceed the quest. That was a school. So after skip, after pressing continue, uh, another skippable cutscene will be launched. After this cutscene, we want to save warp uh, back to Mother's Day. Uh, Mother's Day was previously uh, one switch up. Now, since we took another quest, it will be two switches up. So, uh, what I will do, I am pressing continue. I am starting holding spacebar immediately. After skipping cutscene, I am walking at the bottom right corner to see the checkpoint indicator. After I can see the checkpoint, I am pressing quest walk, two switches up, spacebar, escape, quit out. So, let's do it. Like this. This section in particular will be heavy on save warps. Right now, uh, why we warp into the Mother's Day? Uh, because there is a trigger right near the elevator, so we have to hit it. Luckily, we hit it automatically by warping to the Mother's Day. So uh, you can start already holding your quest walk button. Uh, after pressing continue, you have to select uh, Goodnight Mr. Bahir quest, which is uh, one switch below. It, uh, it is basically the quest that moved uh, Mother's Day away from Gustav. So uh, start holding quest walk, press spacebar. As soon as you can see something, uh, press down once and spacebar. Escape, continue. Also, uh, if you are using Lightspeed and you should use it, Another thing about this game, uh, after you press continue, the timer starts, however, you cannot interact with the game for exactly 3 seconds. So uh, you can use your wife split timer as a visual cue for when you have to press down. Uh, so approximately after 3 seconds on your timer, press down once and press spacebar. This way uh, you will be able to s uh, switch the quest even during the black screen. So let's try it. Quest menu opened instantly, one switch down, space bar, quit out. So uh, in this save warp, uh, you cannot actually move anyhow useful with a keyboard during the loading screen. There is, however, a strat with a controller. Uh, which is not working for me, unfortunately. So uh, you can try walking forward and just slightly to the right. However, mm, the movement here on controller is extremely precise. Uh, you may end up walking behind the corner or walking downstairs if you messed something up which is actually losing your time so if you are not sure of you are you have not practiced enough your controller movement just don't do it press spacebar like a normal person and just start running after walking forward you want to get upstairs here speak with Rahim and after I can see checkpoint indicator I will quit out immediately. I see checkpoint, I quit out. So this saves us a trip, one floor down and also we can uh, skip going half floor down by doing a black screen movement during the loading by holding shift WD after pressing continue I'll switch D with A and will try to turn my camera slightly to the left.
kick open this door and speak with Zara. After speaking with Zara, I want to switch quest to the Mother's Day, which is uh, one switch up. So I speak with Zara, mash spacebar, press quest walk, uh, press up, spacebar, quit out. So basically when you hear phrase oh my dick, uh, you can quit out. Because uh, checkpoint indicator may be unreliable in this one. Once again, Mother's Day doesn't have any reliable and good for keyboard usage waxy moments, so we just press into space and after that start going forward to left. You must speak with Quartermaster here, it is a quest requirement, so don't forget to speak with him here. And also, uh, this part is kind of tight on timing, because uh, after exiting school you have a scripted night, and during this quest you have to kill a boater. Boaters spawn only during nights, and uh, in story mode nights are extremely short, so you have limited amount of time to move around, so you have to be quick here. You have just like six to seven extra seconds to lose. If you're doing everything fine, uh, you have plenty of time to check everything. So uh, now, if you are unlucky like me, uh, you can check Watermaster. Like I'm staying right in front of him, so why not? Why not check him? Do you have plastic? He does not have plastic, unfortunately for us. But we are not. Getting set, we just keep moving. Grapple your way forward to be faster. It will be better to avoid pursuits, but I was barely enough to spawn the boater. After picking a boater tissue, get out. So I was extremely lucky, so I somehow triggered spawn of the bolter and night ended just right after it because uh, if bolter hasn't spawned during the night uh, those couple of milliseconds would be crucial I would would have missed it and I had to warp to the mother's day back and sleep and then sleeping back and then during the full night I have plenty of time to do it so I will show you a backup strat here. So let's say uh, let's say I failed the strat. Uh, the night ended too early, and uh, I wasn't able to kill Bolter. So anyway, we will warp back to Mother's Day, and we can visit this sleeping bag to wait until night. However, in this case, we were just lucky enough to get us both tissue so go back to the Zara's trailer be sure to not accidentally grab this grapple this guy because it will cancel your grappling hook uh, interact with this door skip unskippable cutscene and wait just for a couple of sec like right now switch to gasta uh, on the hooks which is two switches down uh, why do we wait a couple of seconds because this quest is tricky. Uh, first of all, you cannot uh, reliably determine checkpoint by looking at checkpoint indicator, and you cannot understand if quest already progressed or not by looking at these objectives because everything is checked. So that's it. You won't get any new objectives until the dialogue starts. However, technically, uh, you can save warp before even dialogue start, uh, so yeah, this is a strange quest. If you warp way too early, you have to interact with Trevor once again, which will end up losing you a ton of time. So it's safer to waste an extra second. You may even wait for for this line for Rahim. Hey Crane, you here? This way you know for sure that you hit the dialogue. And as you can see, quest still hasn't progressed. So anyway, select on the hooks quest and save warp. So, yeah. 
uh, in this part, th this is the line that we was waiting for. Rahim started crying, are you here? This is uh, the dialogue, dialogue tree which will be skipped by Crane shutting Overwatch. So, because of this single uh, line skip, uh, we were keeping the guy on gas station alive on Pact with Rice quest. So, on this on the hook warp, uh, basically, right now we don't care about breaking movement at all because uh, we will have another dialogue line which is Give, which gives us enough of time to reach our objective without doing any extra speedrunning stuff. But anyway, uh, we can do a boxing moment by going backwards and left, press spacebar, start running forward and left, and turn to the left. Don't need to drink a potion. So, yeah. Now it's pump F to interact with this guy. And go backwards. Use grappling hook to maximize your movement speed. We hit agility level 5, we hit it way too early than normally because uh, I was doing unnecessary jumping around. Usually you will hit it way later in the game, but anyway, uh, if you have shotgun, equip it and interact with this door. Uh, in this flexion movement, hold shift and W. After pressing spacebar, try going forward right. This will line up you. There's basically three zombies uh, banging on a train cart with him and one zombie staying away. So if you have a shotgun, this will line up you in one line between this one soul zombie and three zombies banging the door. So you can kill four zombies when one shot if you're lucky. So let's try doing this. Something like this. I was unlucky to do it with two shots, but it was still pretty. Switch to automatic weapon, because you don't want to waste shotgun if you're uh, going with two weapons. If you're going with three weapons, or you have bought extra ammo, you don't care. You can shot with whatever you want. Skip cutscene here, make a side job, side uh, dash to the left, and go to this manhole. So, this quest is timing based, uh, you have like 3 minutes to do it, which is basically a plenty of time. Uh, so I can just explain things without holding pause. So you want to drop down, however there is water underneath, uh, you want to avoid water as much as possible, because swimming is the slowest way to move in this game. So. Uh, this grappling hook will be kind of difficult and tricky because we will have to do. We will have a short window to do it first of all, because we are falling down, and secondly, we will have to hold crouch button to squeeze our hitbox, which means uh, you cannot release crouch button uh, during the grappling hook. If you release it, you will cancel grappling hook. Just like normal grab, grapple cancel, it will work the same way. And also, you have to grapple to the right of the pipe that we will see. So, you fall down, you hold, you hold C and grapple to the right. Something like this. Uh, in perfect situation, you will skip climbing animation, but uh, if you have it, it's just fine if you not fall into the water. Grapple your way up. Grapple those bricks. Uh, you can see this pipe, uh, do not grapple before cross passing this pipe, because uh, most likely uh, Crane will slightly elevate up for no reason, uh, game will decide to push him up and uh, you bonk your head over this pipe and it will cancel your grapple. the first bomb. 
Usually there are nobody walking this doorway, but sometimes it may happen. Also, if you haven't found the plastic, you may try checking here. I was unlucky once again. Also, because of frame skipping, it's kind of difficult for me to do a correct up. Let's plant a second bomb, try to dodge the zombies, and stand in this corner to avoid damage. Run outside. Grapple your way outside, drink a potion, and now we will wait. Uh, not we will wait, I'll pause the game to explain what will happen next. So, uh, next dialogue skip is uh, timing based. So, if you are slow enough, you won't be able to skip uh, dialogue is broken, which happens after interacting with the train card. Uh, so, what will happen next? Uh, we will walk through the pipe in here and we will try to use grappling hook on the invisible wall uh, which for some reason had been left by developers and it is uh, usable by grappling hook uh, the area itself is not intended to uh, be optimized around grappling hook however i don't know why because the game has ng plus option which implies you can have grappling hook from the start of the game, but uh, this area is not optimized around it, so uh, you can grapple, grapple invisible wall. So, uh, how to find it? Uh, you can use the grappling hook snap feature to aim. Basically, that's it. Uh, what, I can, what hint I can give you here is try to not rush it. If you are not tried this trick 1000 of times uh, without a single mistake, don't rush it, just stand in one place for a couple of seconds, aim correctly, grapple the corner of invisible wall, and after grappling it, after traveling full distance, uh, hold shift, W and D to fall out of bounds. Then we will use grappling hook once again to cancel fall damage, jump inside a hole in the map to get even more even more out of bounds then we will clip in bounds and interact with train card after interacting with train card we will look at the checkpoint indicator once again uh, as soon as it appears we will quit out and this will skip uh, dialogue with bracken uh, what is the timing for this skip uh, you have basically at most uh, two chances to perform your out of bounds clip. If you if you have failed it first try, uh, you have still pretty much tight amount of tight amount of time to run back and do a second try. You have if you have failed second try, uh, you can try quit out immediately to reset the timer and try the glitch once again, or you can walk casually through the pipe like game intends you to do. Mm, those two methods maybe will waste the same amount of time, so it's up to you how to do it. So we will try to do it first try without any shenanigans, so let's see how it works. Run into this pipe, aim somewhere here to snap to the invisible wall, grapple it, fall outside, grapple to cancel fall damage, fall out of bounds and grapple to get in back in bounds. Interact with train card, skip it, and quit out as soon as you can see checkpoint indicator. So, if everything worked fine, uh, you will hear the building fall sound and you will have a screen shaking. Uh, then, after that, we will have to wait just a couple of seconds and uh, after Crane will start shouting happily Rahim, we did it, uh, you can quit out. So my screen is shaking, I can hear sounds. Rahim, it worked, switch to Mother's Day, which is always one switch below, so... Quest walk, switch, spacebar, quit out. 
Once again, Mother's Day provides us with no good uh, left invoking, so we just press spacebar and start trying to run forward right with sharp turn to the right, interact with this door and skip cutscene immediately. After this cutscene, run forward, turn slightly to the left, grapple your way down, pick any weapon you want, kill this guy, kill those two guys, kill this guy and pick the last guy. Kill the last guy. I mean. After that, stand on top of this guy and mash F. When he starts speaking, make your way back in tower. Uh, you can skip this dialogue, however, checkpoint is anyway timing based, so you can skip it, you can keep it playing, it doesn't matter that much, I prefer to skip it. Also, you can try to check, uh, I don't think it will be smart to check it now, so I could have skipped checking Quartermaster uh, when was hunting for Bolter, which would have saved me a couple of seconds, so yeah because uh, the day hasn't yet passed. Now uh, we are waiting for the pit quest. Now we can see it active right now. It switched to rescue Zara. After this, uh, after this happens, uh, we select Holy Eternal and quit out. And this was the end of siblings quest. After this, save warp. We basically start next quest called the pit. The pit is also pretty short quest, pretty straightforward, but uh, it has different quirks to it. So I will see you in the next video.